Ken Lamont has been working frantically to get his clutch in shape, but time is running out. The sled is reweighted, and the pull-off is about to get underway. All six pullers finished in the top 15 in 87. Winning the Super Pool tonight would mean as much to any one of them as a season championship. Jim Brockman and his Chevy Sea Cab will be the first up in this battle of the big guns. The fans are coming alive here in Indianapolis as he backs up this 1908 Chevrolet Sea Cab with a big Aries engine. Aries seem to have really taken this class by storm. Plenty of horsepower, plenty of cubic inches. Don't let the body fool you. There's a lot of horsepower under the hood. A homemade body. Jim Brockman out of New Haven, Indiana, up near Fort Wayne. The fans here in Indiana are ready to cheer him on. Whoa, far underneath the hood as he came down the track. Must have had a, a leaking alcohol line. You see the planes coming out from underneath the right side of the hood as he made his run down the track. Wayne Roush has been at this business for a long time. He's what you call one of the professionals in the two-wheel drive truck pulling competition. This is the newest truck. It's about a year and a half old, the 19. 23 Model T Ford, beautifully repaired Model T Ford, powered by the big block 541 cubic inch Keith Black Hemi. All right, Wayne Roush gets the green flag as he comes straight down the track. He's getting kind of good the track. All right, Les Hawk, it looks like we may have a new leader. We're watching the Red Man All American Pulling Series pile on. They are going to move it now by about three feet. All right, Les, Wayne Roush now has taken the lead by a couple of feet over Jim Brockman. How did the run feel, Wayne? Felt pretty good. It won't be the winning one, but at least we, uh, we tried. Next up, the Florida Cracker, the man Chevy fans love to hate. He scored two spectacular full pulls to get both his Aerostar van and the Taurus wagon into the pull-off. This is the kind of hot dog competition that Holdorf loves. He'd like nothing better than to steal the show and bury the Chevy teams. He has to beat out Roush's run of 219.3 feet, but you can bet Holdorf won't be happy unless he can pull it out of here one more time. A strong pull, but is it good enough to beat out Roush's Model T? Awful close. We're going to have to wait and see. Did he or did he not? Dave, how close is it down there? Less disaster has struck Chris Holdorf. We're standing down here next to the Red Man TNT All-American Pylon, and he has come up a couple of feet. You can see him in the background walking down the track dejectedly. He thinks he owns Super Bowl for 1988. With a couple of wins, he feels mighty good, but he is short so far, and he's only got one more attempt, and that's in the Ford Taurus. Let's go to it now. 219 feet, 219 feet. Three inches, the distance to beat. 219 and three. Four fans, here he goes. Another fantastic full pull by the Florida Cracker. Whoa, what a run for Chris Holdorn. You just made a full pull. It went up on the screen here. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I heard the snide remarks you were making about my first pull, so I decided I'd have to do a little better. Well, it's nice to have the luxury of two vehicles in the class, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It, it really is a plus if you got two, but if you got one like this one, I want to thank Ralph and Dave Banner for all the help on the starting line and for building the damn best truck in the world. He's awfully happy. Back to you, Les Hawk. We'll see what happens. It may hold up. He makes another full pull. We'll see if Ken Lamont was able to overcome the clutch problems he experienced on his first run. Waldorf is feeling more confident all the time, but if he can get past this guy right, to, right here, he's got it in the bag. Ken Lamont, the farmer from Crossville, Illinois, has really been pulling two-wheel drives a lot longer than many of the other guys in the class. Supercharged engine comes to life. Here we go. And I'm 
wave. We've got a some breakage out there with the Midnight Express. Dave, the throttle linkage on hook or broke. Tough break for Ken Lamont. Let's hear it for him, Chevy fans. Ladies and gentlemen, not third place, but first place as well. First and third of the 1988 Indy Super Bowl, the Florida Cracker, Chris Holdorf. And I'll tell you, our sincere congratulations, big guy. Well, I'd like to thank you, Dave, and the IPI for putting this on. All you people for coming here. you got the number one indoor poll in the world here in Indianapolis. Anybody that doesn't come here and goes somewhere else is just a chicken. Thanks again, folks. Let's hear it for him, everybody, right here at the Indy Super Bowl. Champion tonight, taking first and third place, Chris Holdorf. The Big Daddies are next, the 11,000-pound pulling tractors. Pursuit of Power continues in April on Power Tracks with the Redman TNT Motorsports Series. See your favorite pullers, plus Bigfoot, Stomper, and the country's hottest monster trucks in daring, unpredictable side-by-side -side monster truck races. Coming up in April here on Power Tracks. April also marks the beginning of the 1988 Summer Circuit with valuable points and a total of $255,000 in points funds up for grabs. The circuit begins with monster truck racing in Roanoke City. Center, April 8th and 9th. Meanwhile, Nashville Motor Speedway hosts pulling and monster truck racing in a doubleheader April 8th and 9th. The following weekend, top drivers roar into Tupelo, Mississippi for a pull at Spencer Speedway. Finally, April pulling action wraps up in Memphis at the Motorsport Park, April 29th and 30th. Catch the Redman TNT Motorsport Series action here on Power Tracks and in your hometown. Look for it. As we join the 11,000-pound modified tractors in action, no team has yet been able to beat the sled. The track is taking a brutal beating from the RPMs of the big rear tires, but the sled refuses to go out. This next tractor is going to be real unique because it has five big block aluminum engines in it, but the wheels on the front are very small. Many people wonder why such small wheels. That's so they can get the engines much further forward for their weight distribution. David Walsh out of Austin, Wisconsin will crank up this 10,000 horsepower brute and see if he can take the lead. This is a very interesting tractor and let's see if it pans out for him at Super Bowl. The best run of the night was the first pull by Dave Walsh. Let's take a look at a replay of his run. chose to keep that first pull of 204.11 feet, and it remains the one to beat. Back to live action. Fred Freeman, Mr. Cool, here in the state of Indiana. In the 1987 Indy Super Bowl, he won two classes. And here's a tracker that's got a shot at it, 11,000 pounds and limited. Fred Freeman with the mean mistreater, 185 feet. Fred finished number four in 87. He'd like to beat out the number one Banter Brothers who are up next. Okay, Dave Banner, the Banner Brothers. Ralph Banner, the guy that does the building. Dave Banner, the guy that does the driving. The Banner Brothers hold the title to more Indy Super Bowl wins than anyone. short of the Redman TNT pylon, even though he was able to keep it running straight down the track, Dave Banner and Mr. Chevy will come up a couple of feet short. Here's 
Phil Patterson and the Sassy Massey. In 87, Phil finished fifth behind Freeman and the Banters. He's out to put them both away tonight and hopefully take the lead from Walsh, too. Distance he had to beat was 204.11. He did not do it. 192 and 7. He ends up number two position. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the 11,000 pound unlimited class is always tough no matter where you pull, but when you win the Indy Super Bowl, you've won the best. And Dave Walsh, you made the original run, and I remember your dad asking everybody, it seemed like, should you take it? Well, it stood up. A lot of times, you know, it'll come back to haunt you later on, and this has got to be. What, the biggest thrill of your life? Yeah, it is. To win any Super Bowl, it's a real thrill to win it. Your best tractors in the nation are here, and it's a real thrill to win it. Congratulations, Dave Walsh, and good luck in the years to come on the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Circuit. Thank you, Dave. Well, that's going to do it for the 11,000-pound unlimited class of the 1988 Indy Super Bowl, a part of the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Circuit. For Les Halk, I'm Dave Grimm. So long, everybody. Supercharged two-wheel drive truck wheel stands and tenacious 4x4s digging in. More horsepower than you have ever witnessed in action. We'll be back next week with more of the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Be there and experience the thrill of the most powerful sport on earth.